Hello, it is day seven of our 12 days of crochet, which means we have just passed our halfway point. So, so far we have made a wombat, a blue ringed octopus, a platypus, a cockatoo, a koala, and a little frog. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite so far. Now let's open box number seven and see what we're making today. Oh, this one closest to me. So this is box number seven. And the hint for today is this animal is named for its curly tail. So I hope you all left your guesses in the comments. Let's see what we're making. And it is a little ring tail possum. Let's get into it. Okay, so to make our ringtailed possum, you're going to need eight ply, 100% acrylic yarn in one main color. And then I suggest a little bit of light pink just to form his tail and to stitch on his nose. And you're also going to need a small amount of white to add some details to his eyes. You're going to need a pair of nine millimeter safety eyes, your 3.5 millimeter hook, a needle, scissors, and some stuffing. But that's it. So for today's possum, we're actually going to start in our pale pink and work up a magic ring of five single crochet. Now in that fifth stitch, we are just going to change to our main possum color. So I'm just going to frog that fifth stitch and we're gonna work a color change. So we do that by inserting our hook through the magic ring, yarning over and pulling up a loop of our pink. And we hold that out of the way and grab a strand of the color we're changing to, which for me is this like juicy watermelon color. It's delicious. Pinch it at the base of the stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Your stitch will be a little wobbly, but if you give the tails a little tug, it should tighten into place. And then you tighten your magic ring around it as well. So what you should have there is a finished single crochet all in the same color, and then your new color on your hook ready to go. Now, if you want to simplify this, all you have to do is make the whole thing in your main possum color and then just stitch on a pink nose afterwards. So for round two, we're going to work five single crochet around. And at this point, we can trim off our pale pink and we are done with it for now. So row three is an increase, three single crochet into the same stitch, one single crochet, three single crochet into the same stitch again, and then an increase. So that should bring you up to 11 stitches around. Row four starts with three single crochet. We then work three single crochet into the same stitch, three single crochet along the bottom of the head, then three single crochet into the same stitch again. Then just three single crochet back to the start of our row. Now this brings us to round five. So in round five, we're going to build up his little ears. So we start by working two single crochet to get to where we want the first ear to be. And then in the next stitch, we're going to form his ear. Now, if you look down at the stitch, you'll note that we have two loops that we work through and the default crochet stitch works through both of them, but you've got a loop closest to you, which is the front loop and a loop furthest away from you, which is the back loop. His ear will all be formed in this next front loop. So we're going to start with a single crochet and then a double crochet into the same front loop. We're then gonna chain two very tightly then double crochet into the same front loop and single crochet into the same front loop. So there is his little ear. Now at this point, I'm just going to fold that ear forward. I'm grabbing a bobby pin or a stitch marker. I'm just going to mark the back loop that we didn't use there because we're going to need that for the next round. We're then just going to work 10 single crochet around the underside of his face to get to where we want the second ear to be. So then in the next stitch, working into the front loop only, we're going to do another ear. So single crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and single crochet. And there is his second ear. And once again, I'm going to fold it forward, grab a stitch marker and just mark the back loop that we didn't use. And then we just have one single crochet left to finish the round. 
He's already looking pretty possumy. So round six is essentially just 15 single crochet around. So that is two along the top of the head, one in the marked back loop behind the ear. We don't need that marker anymore. Then the next one is the first stitch after the ear. Nine more single crochet around. Fold the ear forward. One single crochet into the second marked back loop. And then one single crochet into the first stitch after the ear. So that row has locked in our little ears and also given us a good foundation row to work on for the rest of the possum. So that brings us to row seven, which is two single crochet, three single crochet into the same stitch, and that should fall directly behind that first ear. One single crochet, and then we're going to single crochet three together. So that's basically an extended decrease, and I use the invisible form of it, which just means I'm gonna slip my hook through the next three front loops, yarn over and pull up a loop through all three, and then yarn over and finish off my decrease. We're then going to work two single crochet along his chin, and then work another single crochet three together. One single crochet, and then three single crochet into the same stitch, which should fall behind that second ear. And then one single crochet to finish the round. So that's where we're at at the end of row seven. And then in row eight, we're going to make his first two feet. So we start by working three single crochet and then an increase. And then two single crochet, which will bring us down to where we want the first foot to be. So we're going to work these feet as three double crochet clusters. So by now you've definitely worked five double crochet clusters and I think you've worked triple crochet clusters, but I think this might be a new one. So we start by yarning over, inserting our hook through the stitch, yarning over and pulling up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops. So that is our first double crochet stub. And we're going to do that twice more and each one will add a new loop to our hook. So there we go, we have four loops in total. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on our hook and then chain one to lock the stitch in. So that is our first little foot. We're going to work two single crochet to get to where we want the second foot to be. And we're going to work another three double crochet cluster. Like so. Then to finish the round, we're just going to work two single crochet increase and then two single crochet. So row nine we're just going to work to lock in those feet. So start with seven single crochet around which should get you to your first foot. Then single crochet into your cluster, two single crochet between the clusters and then single crochet into your second cluster and then six single crochet back to our starting point. At this point we should have 17 stitches in our round and we're just going to stop and insert our eyes. So your eyes are going to go into row three on either side of that nose. And snap our backs on. I have four visible stitches between mine but as long as they're nice and far apart you'll get that possumy look. So, so now you can go ahead and work rows 10 and 11. They are 17 single crochet each. So in row 12, we're going to be forming his second pair of feet, but we start with eight single crochet around. I lost count there, but I think that's eight. We're then gonna work another three double crochet cluster. Two single crochet between. And our final three double crochet cluster. So he now has all four of his feet. We just need to finish that row with five single crochet back to our starting point. So with all four of his feet made, we're just narrowing down to where we want the tail to be now. So then for row 13, we're going to start by single crocheting three together, then working four single crochet down to where our foot is. 
So the next stitch is a decrease and we work that using the final stitch before our foot and the cluster stitch itself. So there's our decrease. We work a single crochet into each of the two stitches between the feet. Then we're going to do another decrease using the cluster stitch and the first stitch after the cluster stitch and finishing our decrease. There we go. Then just four single crochet back to the start of our row. So there we are at the end of row 13. Our opening should be down to 13 stitches and we are just going to add a little bit of stuffing at this point. You're a nice fat possum, you've been into the orchard. With that done, we just need to finish narrowing off the body down to the tail. So you can go ahead and work rows 14, 15 and 16. Here we are at the end of row 16 and we should be down to just six stitches around. So in the final stitch of row 16, we are actually going to change back to our pale pink. So I've just frogged that stitch and we're gonna work a color change. So insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, hold that color out of the way, grab a strand of the color we're changing to, pinch it at the base. It can be a bit of a tight fit, but you are allowed to like pull it out of position. Yarn over with it, and pull through to finish off that stitch. Gently tug your tails to settle that stitch down into position, leaving you with a single crochet in our old color, but our new color on the hook ready to go. So now that our pale pink is attached, we are going to work our first row of six single crochet around. Like so, I find that just locks the color change in. Then I'm going to trim off my old color and I mean, if you're feeling particularly pedantic, you can tie your two ends together. That will help it not unravel, but with something this small, I've never found it necessary. I'm gonna do it today though, just cause I think it is best practice. So tie those two together, tuck them away down inside our tail. And then you're going to work nine more rows of six single crochet each for a combined total of 54 stitches. So just like that, and then we're gonna finish off so to close this little opening off, we're going to take our remaining yarn and pull it through the front loops of each of the remaining six stitches. Tuck that end away inside the tail. Now he is looking very mousy at the moment. He does have the cheeks of a possum, but his tail's looking very mousy. So what we're going to do is squish the whole thing flat. It shouldn't have any stuffing in it. Just start rolling from the tip up towards the body. So we're rolling down and under to form a little curl. Then you can lock this in place with some pins or you can just sew it straight away. I'm just gonna chuck a couple of pins in mine while I thread a needle. <laughs> so then just using a little bit of my pale pink, I'm going to sew that into place so it doesn't uncurl. And just trim off. And tuck away any ends. And last but not least, we are going to use a little bit of white to add the whites of his eyes. And there's our little ringtail possum. That works, that works. Okay, so that is our ringtail possum. I hope you had fun making him with me today. Your hint for day eight is, this creature was named for the mother of all monsters in Greek mythology. Leave your guesses in the comments down below. Okay, bye.